In my Marlboro Gold review, I mentioned that the gold was the main cigarette that people associated with smoking. Now, while that is definitely true for Hungary, there is no other cigarette in the world that has come close to having the fame, popularity, or cultural significance that the Marlboro Red has. Even with cigarettes currently being at their lowest popularity in living memory, the Marlboro Red, and Marlboro in general, has managed to stay a household name, even for non-smokers. This is due in no small part to McLaren Mercedes, for instance, who have been racing Formula One cars since 1974 with the Marlboro name plastered all over them. Millions of people grew up watching commercials of the Marlboro Man back when advertisers still had the opportunity to make smoking look cool. Now, to talk about the actual cigarettes. These boxes also have the firm filter logo, like the Golds, although in this case the filters are actually noticeably harder. Good job Marlboro, second time's the charm. The taste can be most easily compared with Marlboro Gold, obviously, since Gold is just a tuned down version of Red. However, after trying both out back to back, I am quite certain that reds would taste different than golds, even if reds were weaker. I use beer as a pellet cleanser when writing reviews, which helps highlight the differences in cigarettes when comparing them, and reds have a deeper, almost meaty taste that golds simply do not have. Strength-wise, reds are the strongest available cigarettes in Hungary as far as I know, although that's not saying much, seeing as how Hungary has a large rolling tobacco culture, which impacts the amount of packaged cigarettes I've tried. I have a fellow student who is from Germany, who explained to me that reds in Hungary are actually significantly weaker than in Western Europe, and there are also many Hungarian-made cigarillos which will pretty much destroy your lungs after like one pack. So the verdict, would I keep smoking them? This is actually tough to answer, because while they might have the best taste out of all the cigarettes I've reviewed, the difference in strength is very noticeable. The first thing I do when starting my review process is to chain smoke a box as quickly as I can to see if I get sick of it, and while I didn't, I enjoyed all of it, I feel like the intensity of it is not really necessary for me. So, I would recommend it, but for me, it still can't beat the taste of the Amber Winston or the simplicity of the Marlboro Gold.